This study is called, Where Are You? It's from Genesis 3, 8 through 13. So last time we considered the account of the fall of mankind. The serpent came to Eve and lied right to her face. She was tricked by the craftiness of Satan to believe that violating God's command wasn't that bad. He convinced Eve that it could be a good thing to disobey God. After Eve ate from the tree of the knowledge of good and evil, she gave some to Adam. Adam, knowing full well what he was doing, took and ate from the tree as well. Immediately, shame began to set in. They experienced something that they had never felt before, nakedness. In order to try to cover what they had done and the shame that they were now plagued with, they attempted to cover their bodies with leaves. We see the effects of this shame all around us. Our relationships with other humans are all impacted by the fall of Adam and Eve. They would have had a perfect relationship free from selfishness, pride, hatred, and all the other sins that ruin or at least complicate our relationships. Fortunately, the sins of Adam and Eve broke another relationship. It mangled the relationship that man had with God. As I've said before, and I will state it again, this story here is not a Hebrew myth story. This is not an attempt to explain why bad things happen to good people. This is the telling of the events that did happen. The Holy Spirit led Moses to write this, and he wrote it down without error. All the writers of the New Testament wrote with this fact in mind. Jesus spoke referencing these events as real events. Paul's arguments are based on these events. If we begin to question these, then we question the whole Bible. Now, this part of the story that we're looking at today explains so much of what goes on in our hearts today. Last week we explained why human relationships are so messy. In this passage, we see why our relationship with God is this way. You no doubt have heard people say that if, if God wanted me to believe in him, why doesn't he just appear to me? If we just show up, eh, we'd be good. It's, it's a nice sentiment, but we'll see, according to scripture, it's not true. The answer to why we have problems, why we don't see God, why we don't believe in God, is sin. Sin is why there's unrest between people. And sin is why God seems so distant. 